go to OPP Sergeant Kerry Schmidt, who's out on the roads about this. Uh, Kerry, you just heard what Lisa had to, sh to, to say. Uh, uh, let's talk about the, the timeline for this. Obviously, there's an impact on drivers, but what about the cleanup? Yeah, absolutely. Elisa had it right on. It's the transfer lanes there that go from Express to Collectors approaching uh, White's Road. Uh, those are all going to be shut down. There are, are going to be massive and extensive delays in the area uh, because of the fire and because of the vehicle that uh, collided into that uh, crash cushion, uh, that end treatment. That all needs to be repaired. And so while those repairs are ongoing and uh, the asphalt is uh, either re remedied, uh, that will be uh, closed. So you can still get through in the Express and the Collectors for vehicles all together involved in this wreck. Uh, four people taken a hospital uh, with various uh, degree of injuries to various hospitals across the uh, the GTA here right now. So certainly a headache for people coming into the city here this morning. Uh, fortunately, nothing, uh, no fatal injuries. And it doesn't appear that any injuries are life-threatening. Investigators are still on scene trying to determine exactly what happened. But it looked like uh, one of the vehicles that was coming in collided with that end treatment. It ended up rolling over, catching on fire and then uh, uh, hitting other vehicles while it was coming to its final rest. And, and now we have the mess uh, to clean up with and deal with here on scene. Uh, Carrie, of course, we're sorry to hear that four people had to be taken to hospital, but good to hear that the injuries, as you say, are, are you believe them to be non-life-threatening. Uh, Carrie, perhaps a reminder for yeah. drivers, the roads have been so busy. I mean, I mean, when you consider that people returning to the workplace the last few months, uh, after perhaps working at home a long time during the pandemic. I mean, I have noticed it myself. Traffic in the last few months has been worse than even pre-pandemic levels. It's busy out there and it's busy at all times almost. Yeah. There sure is. There's a lot of volume out there. A lot of people uh, getting back into their normal routines, and, uh, and that will continue. You know, we're looking forward to the holidays, and obviously, you know, anytime uh, we want people to be, be careful out there. Uh, but now, as we're getting into the holiday season, people may be taking time off, uh, heading out, uh, doing their shopping and other uh, festivities. Just be careful out there. Share the road, and we're dealing with perfect weather conditions right now. The roads are dry, skies clear, visibility is great. You know, wait until we get uh, some winter. Or System weather that comes in and makes the roads wet, slippery, uh, and we we plunge into the freezing temperatures. Uh, that'll change the dynamic as well for driving. So again, be careful out there and be prepared and understand how quickly those conditions can change. Mm -hmm. We want everyone to be safe. Thank you so much, OPP Sergeant Kerry Smith. Uh, we appreciate you, uh, Sergeant Schmidt, for joining us today. Thank you so much, as always.